right, we are back in the booth tonight and we're gonna be doing a small Little John knockoff in a brown crawl pattern. And this is what we're actually gonna be doing it in. So we'll give you an idea what we're gonna do. This is gonna be a very simple pattern. It is gonna be really about four colors. And what we've already done is we've already put a white base coat on and I just used uh, Wicked White for this. It's gonna be all water base. And I've already pre-mixed the two candies that I'm gonna use on this, which is Grabber Orange and Dirt Track Brown. Um, what I've done is I've mixed those with UVLS and a little bit of 4011 reducer. This is what the UVLS looks like. And, and it needs to sit for about eh, 10 to 15 minutes. I always pre-do that if I know ahead of time what I'm doing. It just bonds better, kind of binds up the paints better. So we're gonna be using the Ultimate Crawl Stencil from Lure Build on this. So let's get started. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take some carbon black golden. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up a little bit. It always wants to pop out of there when I do that. I don't know why, but it does. And I'm gonna be using my Creos um, PS771 with a 0.18 needle in it. Get a few black drops there. And, and all I'm gonna do is, and I'll show you a little trick that I've done. I'm gonna lock my lure holder down. And what this lure holder is, I get more questions about this than I do pretty much anything. Where do I get this? It's a large fly tying device. I got it on Amazon, but I bought this one. I've had this one for about seven years. So I'm sure they still have them, probably just a little bit more upgraded version of it. So you can go check that out. But what I've done with this stencil is I've actually cut it. And the reason I cut it is, I mean, this lure is flat, but a lot of lures are not. And what it'll allow it to do is lay up on the bill here and lay the whole bottom will lay up on here without any worries at all. Then you can just kind of take it and go ahead and hit it. So we're gonna do it on low pressure on about 15 with some carbon black. I just wanna make sure I got it lined up. Just make sure it's all on the lure. That turned out pretty good. I'm gonna darken this up just a little bit. And I'm gonna darken that eye. So that turned out pretty good. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a modeled stencil. This is actually the Anarchy version. A lot of the guys sell it now. I just happen to have this one handy and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna hit a few little areas, not on the top. I usually use a little bit bigger one on this and they've got it on this stencil here and I'll show you how I do that. So I'm just gonna take it, hit a little bit here, a little bit between the shells. And what I've done with this, I've even actually cut these stencils down so I can butt them up against the lures. It'll save you a lot of headaches on that and gets that in there. Leave a few areas white. The color, you know, the contrast and the colors will help. And we'll just go ahead and use this one and go across the top too. For those of you who don't know what this is, this is just a sponge in a little Tupperware container with um, alcohol in it. And I just use that for my dry tip. So that one side is complete. We'll go ahead and just put a little heat on that just to make sure it's good and dry before we flip it over. I'm 
and I'll let you take a look at it. It actually has a very good look. Great stencil, by the way, too. It's just a, I mean, it's, it really gives off a killer look. Just tab your, you know, put down a piece of paper towel so you can dab off. You don't want to, when you flip this around, you don't want to um, put a wet stencil on your bait. I'm going to go ahead and lock this down. You can actually lock it, which that's kind of nice. I usually lay this down on a sponge or something. I'm trying to get it where you can actually see it while I'm doing the video. I know it's a little hard. I'm, I'm actually doing a different angle with my camera. I'm trying to get it where it's out of my way also. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna line it up and do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna dab it off just to make sure I don't have any dry tip. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and start laying some paint down. There you go. That slide came up a little high, but it's okay. You just want to make sure you get it down. It looks better. This, this side right here really looks good. It's low. So we're going to let that dry. And while well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and do the rest of the stencil work, then I'll hit it. It'll be out of the way. We're going to take this stencil here, and we're going to go ahead and hit the top with this. I'll tell you what, let's see. We'll use the bigger one on the top. This is another stencil. It's a crawl stencil. I can't remember the guy's name. I, I've, I've never actually bought from him. Um, I got these on a different website. But I'm going to use the bigger. There's a bigger model on these on both. I use the bigger one on the bottom. And I kind of use this one for my top. Because I'm using transparency anyway. So you're going to be able to see through it. This is a great little stencil too. And what I'll do is I'll just line it up here. I line it up with the eyelet and just press down and then I'll just come across it. Got a little dry tip. Take it off and it's perfect. Perfect lines under there. I'll pick it up where you can see it. And then I'll take this bigger model and I'll put it up here around, around the throat area. It kind of gives it a unique look. Gives it a kind of a natural look. Okay, so that took care of that. And what I'm gonna do now is, it's, I've done this with my crawls for a long time. I'm gonna clean this gun out real quick. And all I'm cleaning out my gun with is some hot water and alcohol, and then I'll put just a little bit of reducer in there and take a Q-tip and swab it out. I don't, I like to clean in between colors. I don't, some people call that blending. I don't call that blending. I call that, you're gonna get a, a bad surprise when you're painting a fishing lure. So I clean out between. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the Dirt Track Brown first and it's been sitting for about 15 minutes and it's got the consistency of kind of like water. I don't want it real thick. And I'm gonna put it in my gun. Just another little tip for you. 
I hadn't cleaned my guns out in a while. I hadn't made a video in about a month. So when I came back into the shop, I really had to break everything down. And sometimes, you know, after you've used the airbrush for a good little while, it'll start getting kind of some air leaks in between your fittings and all. And you can actually take just wax, beeswax, and just rub it around the seals, around your nozzle. I've got a little tiny torch that I'll hit it with, and then it sprays like brand new. So hope that helps somebody. That's a, that's a good little tip for you to have. So what I'm gonna do with this brown is I'm gonna run around my, my stencil edge. We'll run around the eye, because I am gonna use an orange eye so it'll actually be perfect. Then I'm gonna come down and go over these lines. Run over that just a little, and I'll mix some orange in with that. We're gonna do the top brown. So we're gonna do it in layers. You don't wanna, you wanna make sure these layers are dry in between. So we'll go down, up. Okay. So we'll pour this back in because we're not going to need that. And I'll clean it out. Let that dry for a second. So I do not heat set candy. So just give it just a minute. We'll be right back. All right. Now the, the candy dirt track brown is dried. We're going to load some Candy 2 Grabber Orange in the gun. Stir it up good just to make sure it's mixed. It's been sitting. So it ought to be ready to go. I always make too much. So what you can do is, I know you can go to the, the Dollar Tree. They have two ounce bottles, two for 125. That's very cheap. You can go and get those and this paint will hold up a little while after you've mixed it like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the orange and I'm just gonna kind of highlight some of the areas that are white. And then we're gonna come down the bottom, just over the brown a little bit. It'll give it a unique look. Come back over the top. Let's do a one joint. I think it'll look better anyway. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that dry for a minute. And we'll be right back. All right. So the grabber orange has dried. And what we're going to do now is... We're going to put some eyes on, and these eyes are chrome orange solid eyes. And I got these at Barlow's Tackle. It's a six millimeter eye. This is a small bait. It's not a very large bait. And this will really make the bait pop off of that black. So I just take an X-Acto knife and go up under it. I found it's the easiest way to do it. And as you can see, the eyes will really pop on this, on these colors. And this is a good fish catching color too. So these are chrome orange eyes. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take the tape off the bill. We're going to mix just a little bit of straight UVLS up and we're just gonna put a little bit of coat over that. Won't need a lot. It's a small bait. Put a little bit of 4011 in that. That UVLS is very thick. Very thick. I'm gonna use the other side of this to stir it with. Then I'll take the tape off the bill
of starting to get going here. And I'll let you see it before we do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get a coat of UVLS on there to lock the colors in. And that's that. You know, the UVLS is a um, acrylic polyurethane. And it will just, it'll just lock these colors in. It'll keep it from running when I put the UV resin on. It's just a paint protector. Very good to use. I'm going to grab the old trusty Eclipse. That's the only thing I use my old Eclipse for is to do um, UVLS now. It's got a pretty decent size nozzle, a 3.5, so I use it for that. And I'll just put a light coat on it. You want it wet. Okay, it's good and wet. Just put that back and we'll put it in a jar. Put a little reducer in this. And what we'll do is we're gonna let that dry also. I'm not gonna heat set that. And I'll be right back and we'll put some UV resin on it. All right, it's dry. And what we'll do real quick before we get to the, um, the final top coat, that's something I wanted to kind of mentioned the UVLS is not a final top coat. It is, I think there's a lot of confusion out there. It is just strictly the paint protectant. Um, you're gonna have to use epoxy, UV resin, or whatever your choice of um, top coat is. Uh, so I just wanted to make that clear so there was no confusion with that. So this is a very simple bait, just a couple of colors. Like I said, it's only four colors. Started out with a white for the base coat, uh, titanium white. Then um, I let that dry and I came back with the carbon black and we used the ultimate crawl stencil from Lurebill. Then we used the black carbon with the Anarchy stencil on the model and we did the bottom with this stencil here, I, th I think it's Louisville Fishing Stencils is what the name of this is. Um, very nice stencils. Then um, we came back and went over our pattern with the Candy 2.0 Dirt Track Brown 4662. Probably one of the best candy colors out there, believe it or not. Brown is, it, it is a very cool color. Then we came back over it with 4654, the grabber orange. Uh, and I, I use a lot of the orange, very good color. We let that dry. We um, we put a pair of solid chrome, orange chrome eyes from Barlow, six millimeter. And then we came back with one coat of UVLS clear to lock everything in and we've let that dry. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some UV resin and I'm gonna brush it on. And then what we'll do, I'll put it in the box for just a little bit. Then we'll come back and I'll show you all the finished product. So what I do is, I, 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 this brush is actually from Hobby Lobby. You can use the same brush over and over and over. That's the, the great thing about UV resin. You just gotta clean it up. So I'm gonna dip it. And this bait's not very big. This brush is way too big for this little bait. but. This is the one I got out right now, but you can see it just, it starts popping. As soon as you put the, as soon as you put it on there, your colors are going to start jumping. All those candies are really going to come to life. This will be a great spring bait and a fall bait for that matter. And I did have some questions on the channel about the UV about go. I, I actually go both ways on it. I'll go up, then I'll go up and down. I, I just try to get it covered. I want to make sure there's no bubbles. You can take, I mean, if you see bubbles, you can get you a little, they have little torches and I've got one. I don't see any on here. Since I started going to these brushes, I haven't had a whole lot of problems. 
I get all my brushes from either Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby one. I do the bill. I know some people, they, they don't like doing the bill, but I do the bill. I finish it off. It clears it up really nice. Gives it a nice finish. Doesn't get in my hook eyes. The good thing about the UV resin is if you want to, I mean, if, if, well, if it wasn't late, it's late here on Sunday night now, but if I did it on Sunday morning, I could be fishing it in, you know, an hour or two. That's what I love about it. If I want to go test a bait out and go wet a hook, I can do that. So, let's see here. I see one little bubble right here. Okay. All right, so what I'll do is I'll just cover that up and I'll clean it later off camera, my brush, and just keep it wrapped where the you know, light can't hit it. And then I'll just take a small wire like this and I'll put it in my box and as soon as it comes out, I'll come back and show you the finished product. All right, so it is out of the box and here is the finished product. Really cool looking bait just for a couple colors. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I have upcoming videos. And like I always say, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.